Hey guys, how are you? I am back here today and we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial um, on this eye look right here. I've had some requests um, from my last video to recreate the eye look that I did and kind of help, um, you know, with some makeup tutorials. So, I'm, that's what I'm doing. So, if you want to see this makeup look right here and see how I recreated it, go on and watch the video. Are y'all ready to get into the video? Because I am. So, let's get into this and let's see how to recreate this makeup look. Let's go. Like, over there. Let's go. Okay, guys. Now that I got you all scooted in, we're going to be using the Pat McGrath um, the Mothership Sublime Bronze Tem <laughs> Temptation, um, the eyeshadow palette. And I'm not for sure um, if we you can still get this one or not. I know it. it um, I got this one for Christmas. Uh, my husband bought it for me for Christmas one year. Um, so I'm not sure. I will check on that um, and see if it's still even available on Sephora. If it is, I will try to link it down below. Um, but just, you know, just, just to let you all know, you do not have to use this palette to recreate this look. You don't have to use any kind of, any kind of, um, high end, so to speak, um, eyeshadow to make this, um, to make this look. You can use any kind of thing from drugstore or wherever you choose. This is just kind of like a, a baseline, I guess, of how, um, you can do, do any kind of eyeshadow. This is just something that I do really fast if I, if I'm in a hurry or like if I need to go to work and something and, you know, Mr. Boone is not letting me, you know, get anything done. This is something that I go to. It's very fast, very, um, you can go as light, as dark as you want. Um, and use any kind of color scheme. And usually, I mean, it works for all. Um, but, uh, a lot of people, um, had messaged me and was wanting me to do a look or recreate, um, the look from the last video. Yes. Yeah, it was last video. Um, I was like, what video was it? Um, so I was like, okay, I'll use the palette that I already used just so like you can get an idea. So if you do want to recreate this look exactly, this is the palette that I want to be using. Um, so yeah, so I will go ahead and open this up and let you all know, um, what it looks like. It's like, I'm going to just put the mirror down there, but it's very beautiful. And honestly, I only use this color, this color, and this color right here. So these, these three colors right here is all I use. I do use these sometimes, this one especially, and this one. Um, but green is not so much. Um, I don't even think that I barely touched this one. Um, but it's a beautiful palette. M Pat McGrath, literally, her and Tasha Denona has literally the best formulated, um, eyeshadows I've ever used onto this tutorial and hopefully I don't screw it up <laughs> okay the first thing that you want to do is you want to prime your eyes and um, you can either use a concealer or an eyeshadow primer um if I know that I'm gonna like be doing something all day or it's gonna be like a special event or something like that I will usually use eye primer just because it doesn't tend to crease or it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, but you know, using, um, concealer does the same thing. Just depends on how oily your eyelids are, which mine are not very oily. So I can usually get away with it, but you know, it's all, all about your eye top. Um, well, I cannot get this open. Ugh, there's oil all over it. Okay. Uh, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. Um, I'm going to be using today in the shade 12. Um, I've never used this one on my eyelids before. Um, so we'll see if it works. Um, but because I normally use either the Fenty or the ColourPop. That's my two go-tos. Um, but we'll use this one today and see if it's, see if it's good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you don't want too much, just enough 
to put like a good layer on there to kind of hide some stuff. So I'm going to get my beauty blender here that's already damp and I'm just going to just do that all the way over the lid. And I'll actually do my eyeshadow first just because if there's any fallout or anything like that, if I mess up, I don't have to take the rest of my makeup off and fix it. So this, you know, if I don't like it, wipe it off and just do my foundation and go. But... Okay. So now that... So now that you've got your eyelids primed, um, you can go in and do like a nude or skin tone color and um, set it if you would like. Um, I don't do that particularly for this look um, just because I want it to be as pigmented as I can get it. It's so wrinkled. I don't know. I don't even know. I guess I didn't fold it right. But okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Let me turn this around. I want to go in here with this shade right here this sh and i'm gonna use that as a transition shade in my um in my crease and i'm just gonna tap off the access and what i always do right before i do it i'm going to go in and just make sure there's no creases i'm going to tap that out and i'm going to go in with the morphe m441 brush this is a natural brush a natural br a natural bristled brush so, and two, if you see me looking down, I'm going to have my mirror down here just because it's hard to see in the viewfinder. So, I'm going to go in and I always like to hold my mirror like down like this angle um, because it really sees um, where that that crease is. Because if you're going up like this, like literally, like you're like, like, you know, you, it's just, I like to look down and just see like a natural, like where everything falls. So, go in and I'll just kind of start right here on the edge. And then go back and forth until I get a wash of color on, you know, of course right now it's not blended, it's nothing, but I'll have to get that color and that pigment back and forth and make sure everything is distributed um, equally. So once I do that, make sure there's no like lines or anything that's not, um, you know, not being hit with the pigment. I'm going to go through and that's when I'm going to go and do some circular motions and then one ship a lot and then back and forth motions um, just to diffuse that color to where it's blended out. And let me tell you guys, I've not had my um, uh, brows waxed in quite a while, so do not pay attention to those. Um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um, go back and forth. And just kind of smoke that out. And you can go as high or low as you want. Um, I just have a natural, you know, I have a hit, hitted. I have a hitted. I have a hooded eye. Um, an eye, you know, that's hooded, you know. But anyways, and so I like to blow mine out just a little bit, over, you know, a little bit more than most people. Just because I want to be able to see all that. Because if not... When I close my, like, straight it forward, if I didn't do that, you would not see anything. So, I like to go up a little bit more than up on the uh, the actual um, brow, uh, but that is a preference. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit more pigment here, and I'm just going to hit that one more time, and I'm not using as much pigment as I did. I just kind of tap, tap, tap in there, kind of kick off the excess, and then I'll just deepen that corner up. And two, this is actually a pretty fast, um, a fast eyeshadow look. Um, it's where I'm talking to you guys. It's just a little bit slower. But usually, um, five minutes, you know. And we're still, we're just kind of going through doing some circular motions to buff that out. And it looks a little crazy right now because, I mean, that's the reason why I don't do foundation yet. Because I'm going to just clean that up. And once you do that and fluff that out, you'll go in with your next color. So any t just for this initial look, any kind of fluffy brush, um, like this one, any kind of fluffy brush 
will work. Um, anything from the drugstore will work as long as it's a fluffy brush. Um, it'll just, you know, distribute that color evenly. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is what I'm going to go in with is this Morphe F573. And it is, if you can tell, it's just a little, it's still a, more of a, a more of a, um, a fluffy brush, but it's not as bad. See, it's a little bit more domed and a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this brush and I'm going to hit this shade right up here, the darker shade. And this will work with any kind of, um, like I said, any kind of shadow, shadow, any kind of eyeshadow palette. So now I'm going to focus this in on the outer corner and I'm just going to tap. So once I lay all my pigment down, just tap right here in the inner, or not the inner, the outer corner. And once I get my pigment where I want it, then I'm going to start going in. And I'm going to buff it out and just start blending that color. And so as, as you get it, so as you do that, it's going to, you know, create that look. Um, and it's going to just get more subtle. And I like to go back and forth. So you still see the two tone colors, but I don't go, if you notice, I don't go all the way in the inner corner. I kind of stop like right here. And so that kind of leaves that open. So it's not as dark either. So keep going through and then kind of buff that up. You don't want to go as far as you do with that other color, just because you want to be able to see both of the colors. Um, but also you do not want a big black, you know, a big, almost like a black eye. We don't want that. So you just don't do it as far as you did the other color. So just kind of go back and forth and just do, and I'm going very light handed. You can see on my, um, on my brush, I'm kind of middle ways. I don't want to go down here because the more, the further down you go, the more pressure you're going to put on your brush and the more pressure, the more, you know, the more pigment you're going to focus in on that area. And you don't want that. You want to kind of come back. So it's very light hand. So you're just kind of fluffing it out gently. And don't put hard pressure, just kind of let your fingers and hand just kind of move freely. Um, but just kind of be very gentle with it and then just buff it out. You can keep doing it as you please um, because just kind of get the blended that you want. Some people want you know more of a line, some people want it completely blown out. You choose what you want and just, you know, that that's your preference. So I'll just go through then go however high, blow it out, blow it out. Diffuse it out as much as you would like. Okay, once you got it blended like, to your preference, um, I'm going to go back in with this uh, brush I used previously and there's nothing else. Don't put any more product on there. So just right here where you have the two color lines, I'm just going to hit it with this brush and just... Kind of blend those two together a little bit more just so there's not a harsh line that if you missed. And plus, this is a little bit fluffier brush so it's not so focused on one area. Okay. So, once I got that diffused and blended the way I feel that it's okay. So, as you can see, it's very much more a lot subtle, but you still can see the transition. So, after I do that... The next thing that I do is I'm going to go in with this color right down here. So you can use any kind of shimmer shade that you would like. I just get it on my finger. And I just go over that color. I don't do try to do a cut crease. I don't try to do anything like that. I just go over that right there and hit it. And I just do a little bit at a time just to see how much I want on there. And focus it on the inner corner and then just kind of come back to the outer corner. And I'll stop right there. I don't want to get any on the outer corner because we just blended all that. So we just want to focus it on the inner corner and just kind of go to the middle. So once you have that, you want to go back in with the a little bit more shaped, more um, domed fluffy brush. And just kind of go over this area right here, over top, to kind of get that to be not a, such a harsh line. 
So you're going to do that. And then right here, you're just going to kind of fluff. 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 You're just going to kind of just soften that as well right here. So you and once you do that, and if you don't like that, you just kind of add a little bit more glitter right there. And just soften it just a little bit. So that is just a quick, easy look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye and I'll get the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put the rest of my makeup on and I do not know what's up with my face today. I tried a new like skincare um, and it has put like broke me out so bad and it has put so much texture on my face. I don't know if it's reading on camera, but let me tell you. I'm looking in the mirror down here and I'm like, I've not had this much texture and this much like acne since literally high school. So, um, I just, I don't know. I need to figure out what it is because I do not like it. And my skin has gotten so dry. Literally this Kentucky weather, it sucks because one day it's 70 degrees and the next is 29 below zero. I just, I don't get it. I love Kentucky, but I hate its weather. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna quit ranting. But, um, so anyways, I have um, put mascara on my top lashes. And I didn't put them on the bottom yet because I wanted to finish out this look and show you kind of what I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the, the Morphe, M441 again and I'm barely just gonna tap go into here and just like tap like just boop boop like not even a lot and just kind of kick off the access and I'm gonna go in under my under eye and just smoke that out and go like right here so you want to be able to meet that uh, you don't want any like gaps here I like to go in and just meet with that eyeshadow and go in and just smoke that I go all the way into almost my quarter, the inner, uh, the inner corner, and I'm gonna just tap, tap, tap again, and just do it to this eye as well. Okay. You all make the same faces as I do. I can literally not apply mascara or do my eyes or anything like that without making a face. Literally, my sister-in-law asked me one time. She was like, "Can you?" Like not, she's like trying to do your mascara without making that face. It literally, like it about freaked me out because I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I was like, I gotta make the face. And she's like, you're so weird. Like you could not even like, tell me if you all are the same because she judges me because I cannot not make the face while I do my mascara. So leave a comment below if you all <laughs> make a face doing your mascara too. Like it's just not me. I promise. Like I told her that, but she don't believe me. But anyways, so I'm going to go and meet the do the same thing and meet it up here and smoke that out. And I was using that transition shade. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other brush that I used, the Morphe M573, and I'm not going to put any more product on this one because I don't want a big huge, you know, dark under eye so whatever I have left on here I'm just going to go and just kind of meet that right here on the orc in the corner and just focus it on the outer corner I do not want to go any further than that I want to stop right in the middle and I want to do the same thing on this side and just smoke it out and stop right there in the middle and I'm not putting any more on my brush I'm just deepening that up just a little and to smoke it out so this is how that looks so now what I like to do is I also go in and just do a little pop of some kind of highlighter or a shimmer shade I usually go toward you can use the same shimmer shade that you used in the palette that you're using um but I tend to like to go and do a highlighter I just feel like it pops a little bit more um one of my favorites that I typically use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um Amorese palette or palette highlighter it's one of my go-tos it literally works for every skin tone but for today's look I'm going to go in with the 
oh, my dirty palette, um, with the Ofra palette. And I'm going to go and open this up. And this is what that palette looks like. And I'm just going to go in um, with this shade right here, the lightest one. I'm just going to get it on my finger. And I'm just going to pop that in the corner. I just pop it on both sides. And I kind of like, you know, just do this and kind of move it around to make sure that it blends in with the other color because you don't want to just like I don't know I'm very weird about lines and blending and but just kind of do this and that will blend it in and say you see oh you know give that you know you just want to blend it a little bit more just grab a clean little just a little brush and just kind of go right here and this you know blend out the corners a little bit and just soften them and that just kind of blows it, you know, diffuses it and softens that look. You can also use one of these brushes or just a little tiny brush that's very dense. And you can also use it to pack on that as well. But, I mean, the only thing that's left for this look is to apply mascara on my bottom lashes and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so here's the final look. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps a little bit. This is just a basic way um, to do my eyeshadow. Like, it's nothing fancy. It's literally an... This sometimes would not be an everyday look for everybody, but it's more of a, it's, it's a glamour look that can be done, um, very easily. If you don't have to spend 10, 20 minutes on your eye look, like literally the eye look that, you know, that we just did after I got off the camera with you guys and I did this eye, it literally took me less than a minute. Like it literally is that simple and this is just one of my go-tos that I usually grab for. Um, like the palette and this look itself. It's very simple. You can literally do it with reds, pinks, greens, and blues. It's just a really like versatile um, eye look that you can use with any color. Um, I usually go to nudes because and you know more natural stuff uh, just because I don't I'm weird and I, I have a problem that I don't like color. So yeah. Okay, anyways, yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah, you already know, because that's all I say in my videos, but I hope y'all enjoyed this look, I hope that it helps somebody out, um, like I said, I am, oh, I didn't even say it, but I will say it now, I'm by no means the best makeup artist or the best at makeup, but I love what I do, I enjoy doing it, and that's all you that's all that matters you want to create something that you love and you enjoy and you know it doesn't matter what anybody else says is you love your makeup and you love how it looks on you that's all that matters and just have fun with it makeup is supposed to be more of a creative more fun you know expression like I just I hope I just hope I help somebody to um that you know that doesn't know they're just starting out, you know. I, I once started out and I couldn't blend a tack, you know. I don't know what that means. But I I try and that's all that matters. And I love what I do, like I said. And I just, it's makeup. It can be washed off. So, without a further ado, without a further doubt, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, wonderful day wonderful whatever time it is where you're at because you already know I don't know if it's gonna go up but I will see you all in my next video and I hope you have a wonderful fantastic day bye guys